Much of the world is focused on vaccinating as many people as possible to protect against COVID-19. But with the virus likely to become endemic, health experts say treatments to battle infections are also critical. In August, the head of the World Health Organization announced it is testing three drugs already approved for use in other diseases, cancer, malaria and autoimmune diseases, for the treatment of COVID-19. We need more for patients at all ends of the clinical spectrum, from mild to severe disease, and we need health workers that are trained to use them in a safe environment. In Belgium, researchers have launched a clinical trial to see if antibodies derived from llamas could play a part in the fight against the virus. The studies we're doing at the moment are focusing on patients who are in the hospital because there clearly there's a high amount of medical need. These are patients that are ill and we want to help them recover more quickly um, and be discharged from hospital. In the United States, treatments for COVID-19 are largely centered on steroids and monoclonal antibodies available by injection. Monoclonal antibodies work like human-made antibodies, except they are made in a lab. The antibodies bind to the coronavirus spike protein, making it difficult for it to enter human cells and replicate. There are currently three monoclonal antibody products authorized for use in the U.S. Trials have demonstrated that early treatment with anti-SARS-CoV-2 monoclonal antibodies can reduce the risk of COVID-19 hospitalization or death by 70 to 85 percent. What is critical is that treatment be administered early on before a patient is sick enough to be hospitalized. Dr. Fauci is encouraging more doctors to use what he calls underutilized treatments and is advising patients to ask for the drugs if they develop symptoms of COVID-19 that are worsening, if they want to avoid ending up in hospital. Karina Huber, CGTN.